In this video, we're going to take a look at solving these three equations. So each of them involve NCR, and we'll set up an equation for us to solve. So the first one is 3 times NC6 equals 11 times NC4. Okay, so we're going to have 3 times NC6. So using the formula would be N factorial, 6 factorial, N take away 6 factorial. And then we've got 11 times NC4, which is N factorial over 4 factorial, N take away 4 factorial. Okay, so we need to solve this equation. The first thing that I would do is I would recognise that I've got N factorial on both sides. So I can divide both sides by N factorial first. And I can also deal with the... Uh, 6 factorial and the 4 factorial, just rewriting them, okay? So simplifying those values. So we've got 3 divided by uh, 6 factorial. Now, you do have a factorial button on your calculator, which is above the x minus 1, x to the power of minus 1 button. Okay, so shift in that time, that button. We get 1 over 240. So we should get 1 over 240 n take away 6 factorial is equal to, and then we've got 11 divided by 4 factorial, which is 11 over 24, n minus 4 factorial. Okay, right, now in order to solve this equation, what I need to do is multiply both sides um, by the larger of the two of these. Okay, now n take away 4 factorial is larger than n take away 6 factorial. So multiply both sides by n take away 4 factorial. So we're going to have n take away 4 factorial over 240 n take away 6 factorial is equal to 11 over 24. Now from our previous working, previous video, we know how to simplify this because that's n take away 4 times n take away 5 times n take away 6 factorial. 240 n take away 6 factorial equals 11 over 24. So the n take away 6 factorial can cancel and I'll be left with n take away 4 n take away 5 over 240 is equal to 11 over 24. Now if I multiply both sides by 240, okay, because then that will simplify this fraction as well, I'll have n take away 4 times n take away 5 is equal to, so 240 times that will just be 110. Expand out these brackets, we're going to get n squared take away 9n plus 20 equals 110. Subtract the 110 from both sides, so that would get me uh, minus 90 on the left hand side. And then I just need to solve that quadratic. So 1 minus 9 minus 90, and that gets me n is equal to 15 or n equals minus 6. Now n has got to be a value um, that's greater than or equal to 6. Um, so we can't have that one. So n equals 15 as n is greater than or equal to 6. Otherwise this nc6 can't exist. Okay, So n must be equal to 15 is the solution to this first equation. Okay, so that's our first one. So once you kind of get the hang of this, although it looks rather messy, um, it's got quite a formulaic approach to it. So let's look at B. 10 times NC5 equals 21 times NC3. So we're going to have 10 times NC5, which will be N factorial, over 5 factorial n take away 5 factorial is equal to 21 times nc3, so n factorial, over 3 factorial n take away 3 factorial. 
So I can divide both sides by n factorial first, and I'm going to simplify my fractions. So I've got 10 divided by 5 factorial, which is 1 over 12. So we get 1 over 12 lots of n take away 5 factorial is equal to, then you've got 21 divided by 3 factorial, which is 7 halves, so 7 over 2 n take away 3 factorial. Now if you multiply both sides by the n take away 3 factorial, the larger of the two, we're going to get n take away 3 factorial over 12 lots of n take away 5 factorial is equal to 7 halves. Now, n take away 3 factorial is n take away 3 times n take away 4 times n take away 5 factorial. Over the 12, n take away 5 factorial is equal to 7 halves. The n take away 5 factorial can cancel from top and bottom. And I've got n take away 3, n take away 4 over 12 is equal to 7 halves. I'm now going to multiply both sides by the 12. So 7 halves times 12 is 42. So n take away 3, n take away 4 is 42. Expand out the quadratic. Uh, plus 12 equals 42. Then subtract 42 from both sides. So 12 take away 42. So minus 30 equals 0. OK, um, so then I've got uh, 10 and 3, haven't I? So n take away 10, n plus 3 equals 0. So n equals 10 or n equals minus 3. Well, in order for um, nc5 to exist, n has to be greater than or equal to 5. So n equals 10 as n must be greater than or equal to 5. We can't have a negative n here. Okay, so that's our answer to B. Right, finally, let's take a look at C. So 4 times NC8 equals 85 times NC6. So 4 times NC8. is equal to 85 times n c6 okay right so I can divide both sides by n factorial simplify the fractions so we've got 4 divided by 8 factorial which is 1 over um, 10,080 n take away 8 factorial is equal to, then I've got 85 divided by 6 factorial, which is 17 over 144, n take away 6 factorial. Multiply both sides by the larger of the two, so n take away 6 factorial. Okay. Right, then n take away 6 factorial is n take away 6 times n take away 5, or sorry, n take away 7, rather, n take away 8 factorial over 10,080, n take away 8 factorial is equal to 17 over 144. So the n take away 8 factorials cancel. We've got n take away 6, n take away 7 over 10,080 equals 17 over 144. Right, I'm going to multiply both sides by the 10,080. and eighty, and we get 1,190. So expanding out the brackets, we get uh, n squared take away 13n plus 42 equals 1,190. So subtracting the 1,190 from both sides, we get uh, minus 1,148. And then I'm going to solve that quadratic. So I'm just going to use my quadratic solver to do that. 
and we get n is equal to 41 or n is equal to minus 28. Well, clearly it can't be minus 28. So n has got to be equal to 41 as n has got to be greater than or equal to 8 because otherwise that won't exist. Okay, so n equals 41 is the answer to question C.